Hello D reviewers of ABN TV. In this video, we will be talking about 10 greatest and most famous gospel musicians. Gospel music falls under the Christian music umbrella, it has both inspired and drawn from popular music traditions. By definition, gospel music can be derived from any number of ethnic styles and religious traditions, with black American gospel music dominating the jan. Here are some of the most famous gospel musicians that have ever graced the music industry. Let's dive right in. 1. Mahalia Jackson. Mahalia Jackson is the undisputed queen of gospel of the 20th century. Her incredible career spanned over 40 years, and she peaked during a challenging time in history when racial segregation was rampant throughout the United States. Despite this shortcoming, Jackson's soulful voice captivated her audiences, not just in the United States, but the world at large. When Jackson released her song, Move On Up A Little Higher, she became the first gospel singer to sell a million copies. She sold over 22 million copies and opened the gateway for gospel music. 2. Shirley Caesar. Shirley is popularly known as the First Lady of Gospel. Shirley Ann Caesar started singing at a very young age 12 in 1951. Shirley was influenced by her father, he was a gospel musician and died when she was young. She began her music career singing for friends and family, and later on, she joined the legendary Caravans. During her eight years with the group, she recorded several hit songs as the lead vocalist, including No Coward Soldier and Sweeping Through the City. She rose to popularity, and in time, she bagged a contract with Hob Records. She is the first black female gospel singer to receive not just one, but 11 Grammy Awards, and she also received several accolades during her seven-decade career. Some of her most memorable songs include God's Not Dead, He Is Alive, and Do Not Drive Your Mama Away. Also known as Pastor Shirley Caesar, one of her greatest achievements as a singer includes performing at the White House for George Bush. She equally delivered a speech at the United States Treasury Department. 3. Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley is the king of rock and roll and a screen icon. His gospel album, He Touched Me, won him a second Grammy for Best Inspirational Performance. His 14-stop tour for that album started with an unprecedented four-night sellout at New York's Madison Square Garden. The live recording of the Madison concert became one of Elvis's biggest selling albums. Presley's recording of how Great Thou Art also won him his third and final Grammy Award. Receiving 14 Grammy nominations, three were for his gospel records before his untimely death in 1977. 4. Kirk Franklin. The reigning king of urban gospel, Kirk Franklin, crossed the boundaries with his revolutionary talents as a renowned gospel singer, songwriter, musician, choir director and producer. He has also collaborated with many celebrity gospel singers like Shirley Caesar, Yolanda Adams, and Cease Winans. In 2002, he released The Rebirth of Kirk Franklin, which was greatly acclaimed by lovers of gospel music, and he topped the gospel charts for a record of 29 weeks. The urban gospel legend has numerous Grammy and stellar awards and still influences gospel music up to this day as he continues his successful and blooming career. 5. Andrew Crouch. Crouch. The father of modern gospel music, Andrew Crouch is a popular eight-time Grammy Award winner and pioneer in the urban contemporary gospel music. His influences is far-reaching. His resume includes working on a list of over a thousand songs, producing, arranging, and writing. During his long career, Crouch worked on projects with Michael Jackson, Diana Rose, Elvis Presley, Maradona, Paul Simon, Elton John, and the gospel group The Winans. A choir even performed a rendition of Crouch's song, Soon and Very Soon, at Michael Jackson's memorial service in 2009. His songs have also been featured in several movies, including the color purple Free Willy and the television show Amen. So far. 
If this video is helpful please, hit the subscribe button below, like, comment, and share this video with others, for more of the same content. 6. Thomas Dorsey. Having the distinct honor of being called the father of black gospel music, Thomas Andrew Dorsey was an influential gospel evangelist who is also the co-founder of the National Convention of Gospel Choirs and Choruses. Dorsey, whose roots are jazz, was instrumental in developing the original gospel chorus, highly influenced by tabernacle songs and touches of blues. Dorsey's blues influence on gospel music led to the birth of modern gospel music that is associated with black American music. Throughout his six-decade career, Dorsey wrote over 3,000 songs and several of his hit songs sold millions of copies. One of his hit songs, Take My Hand, was actually the last song on Martin Luther King Jr.'s mind before his assassination in 1968. 7. Marvin Sapp. The ordained pastor Marvin Sapp has been crooning at his church since a very young age. As a teenager, he sang and performed with several gospel groups, including the Urban Contemporary Gospel Ensemble commissioned. His beautiful vocals, reminiscent of Luther Vandross and Billy Ocean, with trumpet overtures, have graced the gospel music charts since his debut album in 1996. Aside from his collaboration with Fred Hammond, he also worked with Gozol singer-songwriter Israel Houghton. His song with Israel, The Best in Me, was a hit on both the Billboard, R&B, Hip Hop and Gospel Songs charts. In 2010, Marvin Sapp ranked as the highest charting gospel artist in its 54-year tracking record. Pastor Marvin Sapp has also earned 13 Grammy nominations and is a prolific author of books on faith. 8. B.B. and Cease Winans. This legendary gospel duo, Benjamin and his sister, Priscilla Murray Winans, are credited with pushing gospel music beyond mainstream barriers. B.B. and Cease are also the younger siblings of the renowned Winans gospel singers. Televangelist Jim and Tammy Faye Backer brought the duo siblings to the limelight and their contemporary sound to fame during the days of their Christian TV program in the 1980s. The siblings were able to record several hit songs, including I'll Take You There and Lost Without You. They also won three Grammy Awards among many other accolades they have received. While Cease and Bibi performed mainly as a duo, they also enjoyed tremendous success as solo artists. Cease performed with Whitney Houston on a song for the movie Waiting to Exhale, and B.B. starred with the Hollywood celebrity, Denzel Washington. And B.B. also contributed his amazing production skills to Whitney's soundtrack for the film The Bodyguard. 9. Donnie McClurkin. The reigning king of urban gospel, Pastor Donald McClurkin, had a turbulent and tragic childhood. However, he found solace in the church and God. As a teenager, he formed his first singing group with his four sisters, but their careers didn't last long. He went on to form another gospel group, which had only minimal success. Not too long, he launched his own debut, a self-titled album, in 1996, which became one of his most popular songs, Stand, the genesis of his fame. He has since become one of the best-selling gospel musician, selling more than 12 million albums and winning three Grammy Awards. In 2001, he became an associate minister for Marvin Winans and was ordained as a pastor. Currently, he draws more than 5 million listeners to his McClurkin radio program and continues to record more gospel songs. 10. Tasha Cobbs Leonard. A star among legends indeed. Tasha Cobbs Leonard made her first singing appearance in a church choir when she had to sing in the place of an absent member. Years later in 2010, she launched a self-released album, which debuted her solo career. Her performance earned the attention of EMI Records. Her first ep with EMI, Grace, was an instant success. Grace was amongst the top gospel albums of that year, and two of her singles in that album break every chain and For Your Glory reached number one on the Hot Gospel Song Charts. 
As of this video, she is currently a co-pastor of a congregation with her producer husband Kenneth Leonard.